Welcome friends, happy new year. May you get everything you ever wished for. I am so happy that you're here and thank you for watching. This marks one year of me making videos for you full time. I'm really honored and blessed to be with you and if you're watching for the very first time in the description box below I will write a very short blurb about what you can expect on my channel. I thought it would be appropriate to start this new journey with a list of must do things this year. There is no better opportunity to make changes to improve lifestyles and to start living a better life than the start of a new year. I already made a video about how to successfully keep your new year resolutions. I will link that below. And with that said, I hope you will enjoy the videos I have for you in 2016. Thank you for watching and let's get started with today's list. The things I have for you today are in no specific order, but I do recommend writing all of them down, then organizing them in a priority list and make your number one the first thing you want to commit to in 2016 and then go down the list from there. For this video, number one is to narrow down your path. I talked before about finding our purpose and how to do it. And there is no better time than now to pinpoint where your passion lies and what you want to achieve in life. What do you want your legacy to be? Make 2016 the year you know for sure what you want to be and what you want to be remembered as. All the prior videos I referenced, by the way, I will list for you in the description, but this one, for example, is a great one to start with. Number two is to take up dancing. I personally freaking hate exercising, but I know it's something I have to do for my health and longevity and body. And actually the one thing I do love that is a great form of exercising is dancing. Salsa, for example, burns about 200 calories in 30 minutes and it's less stale than a stationary bike at the gym. I personally do Zumba, but there's also salsa classes, hip hop, ballet, tap dancing, ballroom dancing, etc. Whatever you wanna dance to, just dance more in 2016. Number three, and this is a big one for me, is to be more selective with our words this year. I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just sharing with you that personally, I highly dislike people that after one or two meetings with me are like, bye girl, love you. Girl, you don't know me. I may really like something about you initially, and then I can say, wow, I really love your personality. That's fine. But I feel like overall, our pop culture is diluting so fast the value of certain words and certain things that are meant to be so powerful. So starting this year, we're going to be much more purposeful with our words. Number four is to spend more time with people that are older than you. Not everybody that is older than you is wiser than you, but typically age equals experience and for the most part experience equals wisdom. My entire life more than 90% of my friends and the people that I've had around were older than me and to be honest I have to think that that has been one of the reasons behind my climbing up in life. Number five is to get closure on the past. Anything that's holding you back, making you feel insecure, causing fears, anxiety, or unhappiness, any childhood experiences that are holding you back. It's time to really write down what those things are and how to move past them. While doing that won't change the past, it will absolutely skyrocket your future. I will link some videos I've done that can help. If there's a specific topic you'd like me to talk about and create a plan for, please leave me a comment or send me a message on social media and I will definitely look into it for you. Number Number six is to quit a bad habit. Enough said. Number seven is to keep a journal. Last year I realized for myself that it's not just for therapy reasons you want to do that. I actually found journals I've written in my teens and early life here in the States and it was so eye-opening and endearing to see where I was and really see how far I've come. The key to this is to figure out when is the best time to write and where. Is it evenings when you can allocate 15 minutes to write the thoughts of the day, maybe outside on your balcony to get some fresh air? Is it maybe in the morning, in the kitchen while you're drinking your cup of coffee um, and you can reflect on yesterday's stuff? Think about it so you can enjoy doing it. And if you can enjoy this several times a week, you will continue doing it. And a full reminder to do it won't hurt either. Number eight, create a bucket list. Have a bucket list not only for your lifetime, but for each year as well. Every January, I look at my big bucket list 
and then I take one or two things off that list that I believe I can realistically accomplish this year. That's the best way to make sure that you're not going to wake up one morning and you're 80 and you realize that you haven't accomplished most of the things you were hoping to accomplish in this lifetime. For each bucket list item, figure out the costs associated with it, the time and the plan of course, the things you need to do in order to achieve it. Number nine, learn something new every week. I've talked about this before. Improve on current skills, learn new ones, read more, whatever that may be, you can never be overeducated. Number 10, organize your finances. Create and consistently use the Excel spreadsheet you always thought it would be a good idea to have. Automate as many bill payments as you can. Look into consolidating and lowering your debt and research the best avenues to do that. Start using apps to keep track of spending. I will list some resources for you in the description box. And basically know at all times how much money is going in and how much is going out and how. Number 11 is to increase your savings. I shared with you before several dozen creative ways to save money. If money's tight right now, remember that's only temporary, but if it's tight, that is a great start. If you normally put, let's say, $50 of each paycheck into savings, increase that this year to whatever is still comfortable, but definitely increase that amount. You can deposit that money into higher yielding savings accounts that don't charge a monthly service fee. At this moment, I'm pretty sure that American Express is actually very competitive with that. Or if you want your money to stay in your current bank, open a free sub account or a savings account within that bank so you can essentially keep those savings separate from your checking and not within uber easy reach and definitely make sure to automate your savings so you're not tempted to spend it or forget about transferring it number 12 is to ask for discounts a penny saved is a penny earned no matter what financial situation we may be in at the beginning of each year my husband and i look into what savings we can get and where cable company phone cell phones auto insurance etc most companies actually offer discounts or better plans for current customers but they will not come to you to tell you they will tell you if you go to them and ask Number 13, update your resume. Number 14, write more handwritten notes or cards this year, at least for the special people in your life. 15, help others and volunteer some of your time. You can volunteer at a local charity or shelter, a local school or library, or if a friend can find a babysitter, help babysit. Help more through volunteering your time. Number 16, and this is a big one on my list this year, that is to visualize more. Last year, I wrote an entire private blog for my dearest email subscribers about visualizing, and you can see that even if you just signed up to my email yesterday, let's say, but essentially, you need to create a vision board and you need to visualize at least three times a week consistently. Honestly, that moment of quietness, I use as my meditation time as well because it's very therapeutic. So two birds, one stone. Number 17 is to spend more time with family and be a better friend. Say I love you more often, send a thoughtful text for no reason, follow up more frequently and pre-plan your weeks to squeeze in more time with them as well. Number 18, take things less personally and be more present. And I already talked about how to achieve these things. Number 19, get more organized, of course. That's also in part something I've covered before, but as far as our space is concerned, assigned bins and baskets actually go further than any one of us can possibly imagine at first. And one thing I like to do is clear as many items out of sight as possible, and then the next day, go take a look at it again. There are always new items you can find a spot for that is out of sight if you just take a second look the following day so you really declutter. Number 20, and this is on my resolutions list this year, that is to smile more, smile at strangers and laugh more in general. So now I like to end the day watching a funny animal video on YouTube or a Family Guy episode or a comedy on TV or a movie that I loved when I was a kid because there is nothing more vibrant than feeling that childish enthusiasm as frequently as you can. And remember, to be a lot to everybody requires you to be selfish and do things for yourself as well. And these 20 things are a great start. Set yourself a monthly alarm titled my 2016 to-dos or whatever the hell you wanna name it. Just set a monthly alert to remind you of your goals and then look at your week and figure out how you can make them happen. We may not be able to get it all right all the time because we are flawed human beings after all and maybe that is half 
the fun, but just never give up in your pursuit of being the best that you can be inside and out, no matter how crazy your schedule or what setbacks may come in your way. Get back on the saddle, it's never too late, and keep moving forward. If this video inspired in any way, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more videos and definitely like this one. Leave me your comments and video suggestions, connect with me on social media. Until I see you again in a few days, may good luck and fortune follow you everywhere you go today and every day and may 2016 bring all your dreams and wishes to reality. I love you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!